Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a formation that has absolutely torn people apart in FIFA 23. It has been a meta staple of the pro scene this year. I have been doing videos about it in the last couple of weeks, but I want to do another one to really reiterate to you how good this is. Really go in depth, explain how to use it. And then in a few days after Weekend League's done, I will do a gameplay video dedicated specifically to it. We are talking about the 4 3 2 1. This formation is genuinely insane. It's very good going forward, arguably the best of the game. It's OP with um, the free. The, I actually have my chemistry set up like this so you can see it here, so it's a bit easier to explain. Um, but it's insane going forward. You've got the three strikers. You've got three centre mids who can get involved. And then you have a solid back four. But in-game as well, you defend like a 4-4-2. So in this video, we're going to, of course, explain the tactics, show you exactly how you use it. Honestly, I can't explain how dominant it is really like i played six weekend leagues and all but one of them i hit rank one it was crazy and i'm going to be using it all weekend again the 541 is very very good however i think the build-up's a lot worse than it and it's nowhere near as good going forward and it's a lot more boring to use as the 432 one's fun and just very hard for people to play against so here we are as always, with my tactics, you can see I have two versions of them set up. This is my complete tactic setup. I did put this, um, what was I going to say? I did put this a full tactics video on YouTube last week, or it might have been earlier this week. Um, go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think that it's very important to have multiple strategies. I think a lot of people, when it comes to tactics, don't have a variety of options they kind of just stick to one game plan and then if that's not working they're a bit screwed so it's important to have a mix but in terms of the tactic what are the important the really important part honestly in this compared to most is the instructions we will get to that but the tact self we start balanced we start um as a pretty default balanced here 40 width i like to lower the width a little bit to be a bit more compact especially because I always have one fullback on the overlap. Being in lower width allows the two centre-backs and fullback to be a bit more compact against uh, counter-attack through balls. Depth, leave it on default. The build-up play is on balance. The chance creation is on direct passing. For me, that's just so strong this year. It was very strong last year. It's very hard for people to play against. The width... I don't really think it needs much change again there. Players in box like this is all very simple. We've barely changed anything from the default sense and it just works well. Are you sick of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want more coins to build that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out utnice.com, the best place to buy coins for FIFA 23. They're simple, easy to use. Use code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out utnice.com today. Um, in terms of the instructions, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll explain the formation here. The reason this is so good is you have three strikers. This is a team I used last weekend to get rank one. You have three strikers. They're going to be amazing at getting in with three balls. I, I should have Kaka there as the five-star, five-star, by the way. You have two outside centre mids who are going to bomb forward and attack. They give you a load of options. You have a middle centre mid. I always put them as the more defensive-minded one. I think that just works really well. And makes it very hard for people to be able to break you down when you've got a middle centre mid who can track back and be an anchor man. Um, you have a flat back four. The flat back four is very good, but one of them does go forward in the attack. And you'll see now in the instructions how we set it up. So for me, the way that I work this formation is I make it so one of the three strikers is coming back on defence. This will never be the middle one. <clears throat> you'll probably see why when I explain it. It has to be one of the outside ones because whichever of the outside ones is on comeback on defense, he's covering that wing. So if you have Tadic on comeback, he would be marking the left mid. And then in turn, you pick the opposite center mid. So the opposite side to Tadic is Simons. He would be on cover wing. But in this one, I've gone Rooney on comeback on defense. So he's going to cover the right wing. And then Kudus is on cover wing. So he covers the other side. So whichever forward is attacking... Um, whichever forwards on comeback on defence, the opposite midfielder needs to be on cover wing. Simply put, in game that makes it defend like a 4-4-2, and it's very hard for people to break down. 4-4-2 has always been very good defensively on FIFA 23. It's always been very good generally on FIFA at defending. 
The middle centre mid is always going to be on stay back and cover centre. And whichever midfield is not on cover wing, they're going to be on cover centre. So if it was Rooney on um, come back, you've got Kunis on cover wing. If it was Tadic, it would be Simons. Hopefully that makes sense. The other two forwards are going to be on stay central, stay forward. Middle centre mid on stay back, cover centre. And then, like I say, these two are on balance. You just pick cover wing, cover centre, based on which player is on comeback on defence. And then for me, some people, when they play this, play balanced overlap on both fullbacks. The way I like to do it, I think this is more balanced and works well, is whichever side I have comeback on defence on, so this side it's Rooney, I put that fullback, so in this case, Lab, on overlap. I think that creates a lot of problems for the opposition when they've got to worry about that overlapping option. Um, having two is even better, obviously, going forward. But it does leave you vulnerable to the counter-attack, which I think is a big thing on FIFA 23, so I don't want to do that. So I leave one on stay back. It gives me three defenders, the middle sentiment. I have a lot of defensive coverage. If you want to make it more attacking, though, it would be a bit harder to um, defend against. Put balanced overlap on both. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Ideally, you want your two best attackers to be the ones who stay forward and the best attacking fullback to be the one who balanced overlap, but it might not always work that way. For the more attacking version of this, very simple. We up the press. We go press after possession loss, 80 depth, direct passing, balance, build up play. I've got players in box set to seven. Um, it's very similar to the last tactic, just a little bit more whip so we can press a bit wider. Press after possession loss so we can get them in their face a bit more. This does change how you defend quite a lot. The players, you're going to play them in the same positions. And then for the instructions, I have it the exact same setup. I don't change anything on the instructions at all. This one, maybe you could go a balanced overlap. That might be one exception I'll change there. But I think for me, it works very well. This formation has been very, very dominant this year. Very, very hard for people to play against. It's, it's one of my favourites. It's very attacking. And I find the game a lot more fun when I'm using this, which isn't something I can always say. Um, I've got in this team, I got Red, Kane, Saka, Saliba. I'm trying to think how would I link these guys into my team? How could I change this team up a bit? If you have any ideas, please do let me know in the comments. My untradeables in this team are quite a few. Cap de Villa, uh, Carsar Berto, Gertruda, uh, Modric, uh, and is Tadic? No. So, four of the players in this team are untradeable. I would definitely like to keep Modric and Carlisar Berto in. The other two maybe can be changed, but that's just to give you a bit of context. Hopefully, you guys are having a good weekend league. I will be streaming weekend leagues over at twitch.tv slash alone. It's night two. As always, appreciate your support on the channel. I appreciate support of the streams lately. You guys are the best. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.